In today's video, we are going to set up Scan to Network to our Lexmark MFP device. All right, let's get started. What we're going to start with is by creating a folder on our desktop for our scans to go into. So we'll right click, go to New and Folder, and we're just simply going to name it Scans. Okay, so once we have that folder created, we are going to then right click on it again, and we are going to go into Properties. Click on the Sharing tab, and underneath Network Path, let's go to Share. Now we need to tell it who are we going to share this out with. Typically the easiest thing to do would be to hit the drop down here and go ahead and share it out to everyone. Hit Add. And you do want to give them read write permission. So right here where it says read, hit the drop down and make sure that says read write. And we'll hit share. We'll hit done. And then once we have that shared out, we're going to go into advanced sharing. Click share this folder. And then click in permissions. Here we have everyone already, so we want to give full control. We're going to hit allow. So we should have a check mark underneath allow next to full control, change and read. Hit apply and OK, then apply and OK again. At this point, it's a great idea to go ahead and copy our network pass. So we're going to highlight that, right click, and click copy. OK, so we're done with that side of it. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to get onto the web page of the copier itself. You'll need to know what the IP address is for your copier. If you do not know that, uh, there is a way to figure that out. We'll have to go into devices and printers on our in our control panel, and we can get the IP address from there. Now this is our Windows 10 PC. So in order to get into our control panel, we'll go down to the Windows icon, right click, control panel. And I do have this in category view. If you have it in category view, underneath hardware and sound, you'll see view devices and printers. If you are in icon view, you'll see devices and printers, you can click on it there. I'm going to do this from category, underneath hardware and sound, click view devices and printers. And we do want to find our Lexmark device. Right here is our my Lexmark Universal PS3. We will right click on it and go into Printer Properties. And then we'll be in the General tab. We want to go over to the Ports tab. And right here where it says Port, if you go right in between the Port and Description, you'll see a little line pop up there. You can left click on that and drag that out and it'll extend out the rest of your uh, port number. Now our port number is 192.168.3.225. So it's 192.168.3.225. This de underscore 2, don't uh, just ignore that, not a big deal. What you're looking for is those first four numbers. Now yours more than likely will be different than mine, so make sure that you copy down exactly what you see there. You will want to write this down because we will need to know what that IP address is. Okay, so we're done with that. We're going to close that out. We'll close out that as well. Okay, so now that we have that, let's open up a web browser. And up here in the URL bar, let's type in that IP address. So it's 192.168.3.225. We'll hit Enter. And this is going to bring up the web page for your Lexmark device. Uh, in order to do the scan to network, we're going to go into Settings, Device Solutions. It may also say Embedded Solutions, depending on the model. So you're looking for Device Solutions or Embedded Solutions. Click on that. And we're going to click on Solutions. And we're looking for Scan the Network. So let's click on the Scan the Network here. Now, depending or not, you may see people already in there. Uh, if you do, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're just going to add new. So we'll hit Add. And name. This will be either the computer name or the person who uses that computer, so you know what computer you are scanning to. So since this is my computer, we're just going to simply name it Ben. And we're going to come down here where it says Address. We're going to take those two bars out. Let's just backspace those out. And then we're going to right click and we're going to paste. This is where we copied that network path. So this is where you would paste that in. And then we'll come down to underneath authentication options. You do want to put a dot next to use static username and password. 
and you will need a username and password. Um, so it's the same username and password you use to uh, log into your computer every morning. Uh, if you do not have a password on that, you will need to create one. So ours is just going to be bbolton and password. Okay, we'll scroll all the way down here to the bottom. Under other options, go ahead and uncheck enable basic XML index file and then click OK. And no, we would not like to save that password. Okay, so it should bring you right back out here to where we created our scan destination. We want to simply click on the one that we just created. We just created Ben, so we want to highlight that and hit edit. Okay, and we're going to hit validate path. This will let us know if it works. If it did work, you will get a green check mark here. Uh, at that point, you are good to go. Uh, you can go over to the copier and test that by just sending yourself a scan and it should end up in the scans folder that we created right here on our desktop. Okay, well that completes this video. If you have any questions or anything um, about what we did, please give us a call and we'll see if we can help you with that. Thank you for watching.